Yes. Just say it. I can hear you. Uh, what was the um, mood? What was the reaction when you got the news from Z? And then when, when you shared with him? Um, he, was, uh, he was ecstatic. And it was only a few of us there. Um, the team had left. So, um, um, you know, we sent them a message and let him send it out. Um, but it was he was all smiles. He got a ways to go, but he's, you know, I told them, do you know why he was wide open? Because they didn't think he could shoot threes. They hadn't seen him ever play. So, but it was a, a, a good start for him. And, you know, um, uh, it took a long, long time. But I appreciate uh, the work everybody did to make it happen. So... No, I mean, somebody told me they put up a billboard that probably worked. That's aggressive. Our fans, how about our fans in this building today? Look, here, here's what I would tell our fans. I love our fans. Everywhere we go, that's what the building is like. The building we play on the road is just like that. Even, it may not be as big. And I'm saying when we play, just come and bring it like you did today. It was ridiculous. And I know some of it was Z made a shot and everybody was standing and dancing and all that. But so what? Have fun. Enjoy. Don't just stand there and try to analyze and criticize and just have a ball at the game. And then after, go watch the tape and figure out what you think the game, what happened in the game. But I thought our fans were unbelievable today. John, John were the, I mean, were those the things Z was doing in practice? Yeah. And were you surprised at all that he came right in and looked like looked like you've been playing all season? No, he's uh, – but he got pushed around. There's things that he's doing in practice the same way that we got to work on. But he rebounded. He's seven foot two. But they were sealing our bigs. And they could not move – to get around, and I said, then foul them. Just do anything to get around. And they, he got caught, Aaron got caught, Ugo got caught, and they ended up shooting a bunch of layups in the second half because of one thing. Guy standing in the middle of the lane for five seconds and doing that. I don't know if it was five seconds, it may have been seven, but I think it was around in there. Coach, uh, Trey got in a little bit of foul trouble in the first half, and you had to play the two seven-footers. Uh, they were honoring the 84 team today. You think Joe B maybe smiling down a little bit seeing that in the first half? Well, he was smiling because we played a zone one of the possessions late in the game because he was always after me, 1-3-1. One, one. I, I didn't get a chance. We have a recruited, so I couldn't go to the function last night. But I'd like to know how much of the 1-3-1 one, one they played. Um, but Coach Hall, one of the great human beings, you know, what, what he had to do here and then doing it with that team and the 78 team and, um, you know, following uh, an absolute legend, winning his coach in 42 years. And, but he came in and did it with class and worked. And so, but I congratulate the 84 and I appreciate them all being here and, you know, Sam and, the guys and good people. John, speaking of Sam, at halftime, he made a little speech and he said that if your team doesn't win the national championship, we have you to blame. What do you think about that? He told me he was going to say it. I said, go ahead. I, everybody else is throwing darts. You might as well be in there too. If he watched the second half, I don't think he'd be saying it. Any, anything in particular, DJ seems to be getting better and better each and every game. Anything he's doing that's, that's allowing him to come through a little more? I mean, he had 18 and 10. He had a double-double, two, two turns. Um, and, um, you know, what I'm saying, 
to him, you know, he had that high ankle sprain, and it kind of lingers. And I'm telling him and a guy like Trey, if I play you too many minutes, the next day don't do as much in practice. Uh, we got a really smart team, a team that I really trust and believe in. They tell me they need a day off. I, they're not trying to not practice or get out of something. They're not trying to get themselves right. But offensively, we were really good. Defensively, in the first half, we were pretty good. In the second half, with eight minutes to go, we were awful. And they kept coming. Every game I watched the Georgia, whether they were down or up, they play and continue to play, and they don't stop till the horn sounds. They just keep coming. So I congratulate them, too. Cal, I think obviously it's easy to get lost in what Big Z did offensively, hitting the first four shots and having that behind, you know, behind the back no look pass to Antonio. But do you think that kind of overshadowed how good he was defensively and how he affected shots and had two steals? Well, you know, he rebounded the ball, um, five rebounds. But again, he's like the rest of us. The end of the game, we turned it over like for no reason. Why did you just look at the guy and throw it to him? He threw a th what are you doing? This isn't like a, we're not in the, uh, in the gym playing a pickup game, and it doesn't matter. I mean, you want to finish people off. And he made a pass. DJ made a pass. Robert made a pass. I mean, I'm just, you know, I look at it, and I, sometimes I probably expect too much. And, you know, I want them to be at their best every moment, and that's not going to happen. we got the youngest team in the country. I'm out there with five and six freshmen at times. Thanks. Thanks.